Hi, it is Marie, and I'm back again today with another video. So today, I thought I'd do the famous CP tag. Um, the CP tag was something that was very interesting that came out in the YouTube CP community uh, about three years ago. Um, I thought, as a 17-year-old, uh, that it was rather interesting uh, to learn about everyone's everyone's stories and how cerebral palsy affected them. Uh, it definitely gave me a holistic view on the CP, um, and to a certain extent, extent helped me to understand uh, my own CP. <laughs> um, so it was really interesting. I used to watch like uh, Gentry Nicole. Uh, uh, Jake the Wimper, um, so like those, it was really interesting to just learn how CP affected them, and so today I thought I'd do it, um, and so I have the list. I I I took it from from the archives of YouTube. No, I'm just kidding, um, but I do I do have the list, and so here we go. Um, number one, what kind of CP do you have? Um, I have spastic diplegia, um, now I'm not 100% positive on that, um, it's just Google, um, and then matching it up, uh, with, with, uh, the effects of CP that I have, um, I, I don't, I've never known for sure, and I've not, I've never really cared, um, because I just, I see it, like, it's like, okay, the label doesn't, doesn't change what kind of CP I have. You know, CP is going to affect me however it affects me. And so I just kind of, I don't really think about that. Um, number two, how did you get CP? Uh, this uh, question and its subsequent answer is very confusing uh, and complicated for me uh, because I am a triplet, uh, as I said before, and uh, I think uh, that's just the broad, the broad answer is, I'm a triplet, uh, and it's subsequent consequences of my birth, um, is probably where I ended up getting CP, um, well, I was born three months premature with, we were all born with a lack of oxygen, I was the smallest, I was one pound twelve ounces, um, Whereas my sisters were uh, just over two pounds, and and so I think there were some complications in that, uh, which might have been the cause of my CP. But uh, as I've always said, I don't I don't know for sure. I don't have a definitive answer on that. Uh, number three, how did how did you feel about CP growing up? Um, CP growing up. I didn't know I had CP until I was 11. Uh, actually, my gym teacher told me uh, that I had CP, uh, and uh, so I always knew I was different, um, and I always knew I didn't do things to the same ability or skill level that other people did, especially my sisters. Um, I saw it right away that, you know, as I as I struggled behind and struggled to do things, you know, they were they were ahead of me, and I was like, why am I having trouble with this? Um, and that that gave me a lot of frustration. Um, but yeah, uh, so that is how I feel felt about um, my disability, I guess, uh, or my CP after I knew I had CP growing up. Uh, number four. How has CP impacted your life, good and bad? Um, on, let's go with the good side first. Um, good side, I've, I've seen a lot of good come out of people, um, whether that be helping me, uh, giving me a helping hand, uh, assisting me, uh, just being there for me to cheer me on and everything. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've seen a lot of good in the world, and I can honestly say that there is more good than evil, and I truly believe that, um, after I've seen all the kind things that, that people have not only done for me, but for those around me with disabilities. Um, and another good thing, I guess, is that I think cerebral palsy gives me a different perspective, 
perspective on life. Um, I don't look at things uh, the way other people do. Um, I, I, I feel that. It's not something I can really confirm because I don't have their perspective. Um, but I think I have a different perspective and I kind of enjoy that because I don't like to be the same as everyone else. <laughs> I really don't. Um, <clears throat> on the bad side, I think uh, cerebral palsy is a challenge. I've always said that. Um, and again, it's kind of frustrating. Um, it is actually really frustrating. Um, and so I think that, you know, I will finish this answer a few questions down, um, if you bear with me. Uh, 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 uh. Number five, do you ever think about life without cerebral palsy? Yes, I do. Again, I've always wanted to live one day, one day in someone else's life so I can have their perspective on life and, and realize what I'm doing differently. Because when I approach something, when I do something, I still feel like I'm, I'm looking at it the same way everyone else is. Um, but obviously I'm not. Like, I feel that afterward that, oh, I'm not, I'm not, I didn't do this the same way that other people did. Um, and in consulting with people, you know, I'm like, how did you do this? And, I'm, and they tell me and I'm like, no, that's not how I think about it at all. So I would always like that at least one day. Um, but yes, are there are there days where I think, oh, I, sh I could have more days without having cerebral palsy? Yes. Does it extend beyond a day? Yes, sure. It's frustrating sometimes. Uh, number six, how was schooling with cerebral palsy? Uh, schooling was tough. Um, I don't know if it's because of my cerebral palsy, although I do know it has something to do with my eyes and maybe more on a cognitive level, um, but I was placed in special education uh, ever since kindergarten and, and that's really conflicting in my mind um, because sometimes I look at it and I go, oh, there are skills that I wouldn't have had, um, be that writing and speaking. If I didn't have, if it weren't for special education, um, however, um, on the developmental side of things, there are some times where I look at it and I'm like, whoa, special education held me back. You know, they were like, other, your peers are going to do it this way, but you're not going to do that. We're going to have you do it another way. Um, and so I think um, not having the ability to try things. Um, because people thought you couldn't do them, you know, it kind of, it held me back. Um, and it didn't give me the adequate, adequate skills even today. I just feel like I'm developmentally behind all my life. Um, and, and yeah. <laughs> uh, seven, how has your disability changed throughout your life? Uh, well, cerebral palsy have, has changed. Uh, most notably in the area of pain. I started feeling real pain, as I said before, uh, when I was about 14, 15, and 16. I started to really notice, uh, like just getting dressed in the morning was really painful, putting on shoes was really painful, uh, just walking around started to get a whole lot more painful. Um, and so that, that that's kind of how it's changed. I do think I've, I've had more of a problem with just walking. I don't know if I notice it more, but I just feel like I've become more clumsy throughout my life. Um, yes, uh, moving on. How will things change for people with disabilities? Um, well, I don't know. Um, you know, I would like to say that people will become more tolerant and accepting of people with disabilities. Uh, in the ordinary scheme of life in the day to day um, but I, just, I feel like a lot of people's acceptance comes from this passive form of acceptance like we we're friends with you because that's the good thing to do and then it's like this whole self-aggrandizing thing 
Like, oh, if we're friends with someone with a disability, we are the good people. We are the people that deserve a medal or a gold star. Look at us. Um, so, like, I want to, I want to see, like, actual acceptance. Um, and I, uh, and I kind of want to see people with disabilities get treated like normal people. Not that they're some, like, fragile being that can't experience actual life. Um, and I, I honestly, like, growing up, the hardest thing for me was people lying to me. Like, I can, like, trust is a really big thing to me now. Because everyone lied to me. It was like, oh, look, that was so good. You did so good. And I'm like, what the heck? I didn't do good at all. Like, I, I was miserable. Um, but, and then I guess, I don't know, there's a whole technology thing. But again, um, going back to my special ed example, I think a lot of the technology has people uh, becoming very uh, dependent on technology when you have disabilities. I don't know. I've noticed that growing up in my own life, you know, people were just willing to throw uh, things at you, throw technology at you. Uh, number nine, do you believe in God and does that help you deal with having CP? Uh, yes, I believe in God, uh, but I really think uh, that belief in God and my cerebral palsy are independent. Uh, that's the short answer. Number ten, the final question. If there was a pill or a cure for CP, would you take it? Uh, yes, I I would take it. Uh, you know, not only to see that one day, uh, but just to be without this challenge. Uh, you know, some people again look at having CP as a gift. I've always looked at it as having a challenge. Um, and if I can do the things I want to do, like play piano, play guitar. I don't know, read music. I would love to do that, you know, uh, read a book. Of, uh, it takes me like an hour to read 15 pages of a book. I would just love to like actually read a book. Uh, and honestly, I'm going to leave that there. Uh, that was a CP tag. I will, if you got into this point in the video, I will uh, post the... Uh, the CP, the CP tag down below so you can take a look at the questions and I will say goodbye and I will see you in the next video.